today we're going to talk about how to refill the cartridges on the uh, Pixma Pro 100 printer. So you want to uh, turn your power on here, open your um, print head access panel, and uh, after a minute the print head will fly out like that and um, give you access to the ink. And uh, what I like to do at this point is pull the power cord out of the uh, printer so that it stays um, throughout the entire process. And then uh, you're just going to grab one of your ink wells, whichever one you need to refill. Um, I like to start at the beginning and go all the way down just because you want to fill them all at once um, so that you use less uh, waste ink. Um, but yeah, just pull that out and um, then we'll go from there. Okay, so right, right here, there's an indentation. You can feel and see if you hold it in the right light. And uh, it's the ball valve. And we're gonna actually cut a circular hole in that and uh, get access to it. All right, so there's the ball valve right there. And we're just gonna take a sharp, sharp exacto knife and just take the surface sticker off. Just remove that label. So now we have access to that ball valve in there. Alright, so this is what you get if you get the squeeze bottle kit from uh, Precision Color. Um, and you want to screw that in there. It just takes a half of a turn or something and it's snugged up good. And uh, I like to kind of mix these up real gently like this. You don't want to bubble them up too much, but um, I like to mix it up. Take the lid off. Take the seal off. take this off to fill and then that'll seal it back up. Alright at this point I like to take a uh, 1 16th of an inch drill bit and just very carefully drill a hole right in the center of that ball not getting it in the cartridge just in the center of the ball. see that or not but there's a hole in it. At this point I like to use the uh, little hook. It comes with the uh, precision color kit and just screw it in a little bit. And you'll start to feel it grab. The ball will start to spin inside the cartridge. Then you just Pop the ball out with it. There's the ball. Alright, at this point, I switch to a 5 30 seconds bit. And just drill that hole out a little more. You don't have to worry about shavings falling into there because they won't make it through. They won't. They won't cause a problem. So, just use a sharp bit, but it'll be fine. All right. Now then, we'll um, start filling this up and 
and uh, pull it nice and slow. And we'll get it about one third of the way full. Use tape or a thumb and cover that vent hole right there on the end. I'll show you that closer here in just a minute. Fill it up until about a quarter inch from the top. Take that out, put your rubber cap in, make sure it's good and sealed, and then you can remove the uh, cover on this vent. You can see it's kind of a slit right there, it's just a vent on these, but that's the, what you want to seal off after you get a little bit in it there, um, one third of the way. And it's hard to tell, but um, that's a full, full cartridge. All right, now then we'll take this uh, cover off. This is an uh, option for the precision color kit that I bought. Uh, it's just a replacement cover. Whether you use tape or the old covers with rubber band wrapped around it or something, you want to cover that ink so that it doesn't drip everywhere whenever you're working on it. This is your chip right here. This is your chip right here. And uh, you want to make contact with that with those you're going to use this adapter piece to help guide it just plug it into a USB and you're good to go push it in and hold it until it'll flash initially and then it'll go solid and that's when it's reset good to go just install it back in push it all the way back and then down and you're good to go.